Okay, hey Taurus, so this is going to be a general reading. Taurus, before I start, I'm getting like there is a feminine energy that's realizing like you don't want her man or something like that. But this individual could feel guilty or feel bad for how they treated you. And it's because, and this is why I say like you really got to be mindful about who you're dealing with. Like this feminine energy could have been in a relationship with somebody that would intentionally try to make this person jealous. So this person's lover like intentionally tried to make this person think that you wanted them. That's what I'm getting. So it's a feminine energy. Her lover would like try to make her jealous and make her think that you wanted him. And he could have been doing it to play some type of mind game or something like that. Get narcissistic. Yeah, it's like, wow. He was doing it because he wanted her to like prove herself. He wanted her to prove herself in a relationship. He wanted her to overgive to him in a relationship. So he used you to make her jealous. And therefore, like by him doing that, she would keep trying to prove herself to him or something like that. But she could have felt like you was competition or she could have felt like you was like her enemy or you was the enemy or something. But it's because of her manipulative of lover doing this. Yeah, what's going on here? And she's realizing this. She's realizing this. She regrets how she treated you or something like that. She realizes like, I don't know, like you're not competition. You're not her competition. Yeah. She could even be walking away from this man or something like that. She could be walking away from him or she's not dealing with him or something like that. Yeah. It's like whatever he was doing, it was putting her in the tin of wands. Had her stressed out. Had her feeling like you was competition or like, you know, I don't know. But like she was in a relationship with this man or she was dealing with this man or I don't know. Yeah. Okay. She was in a relationship with this man. You know, for some, this man could have been, you know, with somebody and you didn't know that. So you could have been dealing with somebody that was already dealing with somebody else or in a relationship with somebody else. And you wasn't aware of that because this person could be narcissistic. This person could be like, a, um, I don't know, somebody could have been cheating or stepping out or something like that. You know, take it how it resonates. It's going to be different for everyone. But this person would try to use you to make the up like their lover jealous or something. I don't know. And you walked away from this. Yeah. Okay. Somebody's thinking back on the past. Just thinking back. I'm really getting whoever this feminine energy is. She's thinking back on how her ex like played her. And like try to make her insecure. And this is why it's important to know your worth. When you're dealing with, uh, you know, a low vibrational karmic masculine, a karmic masculine will try to belittle you, tear you down, and make you think that you are not enough. And that could be what this feminine energy went through with her karmic lover. But like he would try to make her feel insecure. He could have been trying to like make her feel like, you know, she was an option or for some, he was stepping out on a connection. Whatever this is, it's like she's reflecting on how she allowed this man to make her feel insecure. And therefore, she could have been like feeling like you was competition or she could have even like tried to, I don't know, like she tried to betray you or she tried, she did something here. Wow. I don't know why I'm getting, she tried to silence you or she wanted to silence you or shut you up or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm also getting pushed you out or get you fired or something. So I don't know if this is in a work environment. For some, this is in a work environment. For some, this has nothing to do with work. But yeah, somebody's lover could also be a flirt. Like this person would intentionally flirt in front of his feminine energy's face. It was all like a mind game. He was playing some type of mind game with her. Because he wanted her to continue to overgive and prove herself to him. That's what I'm getting here. Give me just a second. Okay, sorry about that. Yeah, he wanted her to overgive and prove herself to him. So, like, she could have worked to silence you. Now she's regretting that. Like, she really feels like, wow, I'm getting, she feels silly and she feels like she got played by this man. And she feels like she got used by this man. This man used her. This man could also, like, 
he competes or he's very competitive or maybe he saw you as competition or something. She's realizing that as well. Like she's realizing this man used her to silence you because he's competitive and he competes with feminine energies. He likes to compete with females. Yeah. I don't know. But he gaslit her. And it could like he used her. Yep. Didn't I just say? He used her to like... He could have used her to like... It's some type of conflict here. And like he's realizing like... Damn. Or she's realizing. I don't know. She's realizing that she got played by this man. Mm-hmm. Could have been something going on online. Somebody could have been harassing. If you're on a platform, somebody could have been harassing your platform. Um, yeah, I don't know. Or is something going on online here? Some type of conflict. Somebody's lover is messy. It's a male. This is a male. Yeah. And he's messy. And he like he went to somebody trying to use her to silence you or push you out. For some, this is your ex. And he went and he gaslit and love bomb. For some, I'm getting a co-worker of yours. Could have reached out to a co-worker of yours and lied on you. And could have been love bombing this person. Like, you know, telling this person that they really admire this co-worker of yours while simultaneously using this co-worker to outcast you and push you out. Could have been like lying to this person. So he could have been lying to your co-worker about you. Take it how it resonates. And yeah, wow. Could even be telling this co-worker that you still want him and you don't want none of you trying to get far the hell away from this man. So yeah, for some, this is a co-worker and for some, this is just, I don't know. This is just somebody that, you know, he was in a relationship with. And like you trying to get far away from this man. You don't want nothing to do with this man. But he's telling the person that he's in a relationship with that you want him or something like that. To make her feel insecure and jealous. And you're trying to get far the hell away from him. You want him to move on with his life and leave you the hell alone. Yeah, he played mind games. Whoever this man is. Yeah. It's like he's doing something to this Queen of Pentacles. Or he's watching this Queen of Pentacles money online. Um, her, wow, her opportunities, uh, if she built anything, he's watching that. He could have wanted that to end because he's very competitive. He likes to compete with this queen of pentacles, this male. Yep. And he tries to hide it. He tries to hide it. He also is trying to hide the fact that he secretly wants this queen of pentacles, but she ain't dealing with his ass. When pigs fly, that's when she deal with his ass. She's not dealing with him. He knows this. So he used somebody that he's in, in a relationship with. Wow, she's finding this out. Okay, so she's finding this information out. It's like this man could have been telling this feminine energy that you want him, you in love with him, uh, you obsessed with him, you never moved on, but that ain't the case. You've been trying to get the hell away from him. You don't want to, nothing to do with him. You could have blocked him. You could have muted him. It's like he's using you to get her to overinvest in him in a relationship. But really, it caused her to feel like you was her competition and you was her enemy. It's like he he's very manipulative. He's very manipulative. And you don't want nothing to do with this man. You ain't in communication with this man. Nothing like that. Like, and he could be telling her, like, it's like she going to find this information out after the fact. After she has, you know, basically acted a plum fool with you, she going to find out that you was trying to, like, you didn't want nothing to do with him. You blocked him and moved on with your life. So for some, this is a masculine energy that reached out to a co-worker of yours. And for some, this is a masculine energy that like maybe you had some type of dealings with in the past. You used to date in the past and he could have went back to somebody or he's in a relationship with somebody. And he's telling that person that you want him or something like that and got her thinking that you are her competition. And I posted that on my uh, community uh, board. Like I never like. It's just weird. Women that try to fight other women, do underhanded stuff to other women, or, you know, whatever, over a man? 
over a man. Like if you don't know your worth and you don't know your value and you're in a relationship with somebody that, you know, is manipulative, karmic, treats you like an option, tries to make you feel insecure and you think it's the other woman's fault and you choose to stay in that situation, like, man, I ain't, mm -mm, I'm about to end this. Yeah, so you done moved on, but like you got a feminine energy that's in regret. Yeah, I don't know. It's like this person really wants some type of um, higher level of commitment with you. But he's using, man, this is messy. And he's trying to hide it. He's trying to hide it, but he knows that he don't have a chance with you. And you moved on with your life. And so he's like using who he's in a relationship with, gaslighting that person, manipulating that person, playing mind games with that person, and got that person thinking that you are like, I don't know, that you want him back or something. And you don't want, and you don't, and if this, man, look, this really pisses me off because you don't know how unstable people are out here. And the fact that this man is even doing this and playing mind games with whoever this feminine energy is. Like, you don't know how unstable people is out here. And this man is a narcissist and he's egotistical. And he could even be like, man, look. Next thing you know, you got a feminine energy, a female trying to fight you over a man that you don't even want. Yeah, you don't want no dealings with this man. Nothing. And you're going to keep him blocked and you're not dealing with him or talking to him. He's, man, this man, ew. Yep, you running far the hell away from this man. I'm telling you, this man really wants some type of relationship with you, but you ain't dealing with him. You don't want nothing to do with him. And uh, this feminine energy is finding that information out on her own that you don't want nothing to do with him. You're trying to get far the hell away from him. You blocked him. You're not worried about him. And you moved on with your life here, Taurus. And it's a feminine energy that's seeing that now. She's seeing that. But this man is very manipulative. That's what I'm getting. So, but she's going to figure it out on her own. Yeah, you're moving forward, but he sees you as this, like, he wants this Ten of Pentacles situation with you or something like that here. Yeah, it's like he wants to move uh, to calmer waters with you because he might not be happy in a situation, but I don't know. This is weird. This is weird. I'm about to end this reading, Taurus. I'm getting you moved on with your life, but he is in a relationship with a feminine energy and got this feminine energy thinking that you want him and you moved on with your life. I'm in it there, Taurus.